good YouTube, it's your boy Legendary E, and we are back here for episode number three of the Dallas Mavericks. Realistic my GM. Now, if you guys missed the first one, we did go ahead and we played a game, and that was against the Chicago Bulls. We also talked about a lot of future moves that we wanted to make for this roster. So if you guys missed that, I'll put it in the top right hand corner right now, as well as a link to it in the description below. Make sure to go ahead and check it out. And obviously, we we've, we've been simming through this series, we've been keeping up with what they've been doing in real life. Messing with a couple of lineups, and I think that in this episode, we're gonna be making a trade that we might even hop in this game versus the Lakers. Now, they should kill us, but I'm still gonna hop in nonetheless. So, if you guys enjoyed this series and this episode and want to see more, make sure to go ahead and uh, like it up. And let's aim for let's aim for 170 likes, 170 likes for episode number four. And that one, we're gonna be simming a little bit, we're probably gonna be simming into the month of December or January in that one, just depending on what we do in this video. But looking at the roster, obviously Harrison Barnes and Dirk Nowitzki are both back. Of course, this is probably Dirk's last season. I lowkey hope it is so that we can... Because at this point, we are pretty much catering to what we want to do. Now, originally, I had Dirk coming off the bench until this game versus San Antonio, where we beat them by 25 points. And in this game, Dirk was a beast off the bench, man. He had 17 points off the bench. He was... Man, hit two threes for us, and that's the biggest thing about us. Yeah, we didn't have Harrison Barnes, but having him and Dirk out there, who both of them can shoot... That helps us out now deep now defensively dirk ain't that but even without that like we were still gonna have problems defensively but we decided to make all those moves and we moved west matthews to the bench so matter of fact he might be he might get traded in this episode i'm not even sure man but this is our brand new lineup it's me dennis smith jr luka Doncic at shooting guard harrison Barnes that's small forward dirk at power forward and dj at center and off the bench is west matthews dwight powell who is freaking amazing JJ Barea, Jalen Brunson, and Dorian Finney-Smith. Yeah, I'm not really feeling this bench. I'm not gonna lie. Of course, this is realistic. We gotta make some kind of move. Now, before I even get through with that, I'll show you guys the stats since we have seen a couple of games. Harrison Mars is leading us in points per game. Luke is doing his thing as well. You know, 15.7 rebounds, 4.4 assists. Yeah, and we gotta just get these guys shooting more efficiently. Regardless, we got a lot of problems that we need to solve with this team because honestly, Tanking ain't looking all that bad. I'm not gonna lie. Tanking is not looking all that bad. I mean, of course, our pick is top five protected, but if we can get in that top five, we'll be taking a major W with all these amazing prospects there. I mean, Bull Bull, Romeo Langford. I'm more so looking at somebody like Romeo Langford, RJ Barrett. Hell, I've never gotten Zion in any one of my series just because I normally don't use him, but that should be interesting as well. You probably go number one, but. We gotta decide real soon what we wanna do. And realistically, I say tank, but we honestly might not have a choice. We look at the Western Conference, and I don't wanna be a Debbie Downer, but we look at the Western Conference. I mean, realistically, we aren't any better than the Warriors, the Rockets, the Nuggets, the Blazers, the Wolves, the Thunder. We we could possibly be be better than the Clippers. The in the Pelicans, but we are gonna be better than the Jazz. Memphis, maybe. The Suns, we should be, but it depends on how this 2K Sim goes. And the Lakers, we aren't gonna be better, we aren't gonna be better than the Spurs, though. We'll, we should be better than the Kings, though. It just depends, but let's just get into trade mode. Trade mode. Because Wes Matthews is a great player. I just wanna see that value, alright? I just wanna see that value. I feel like he could help out a contending team so much. But we are going to see, this ain't realistic, unless I would take this in a heartbeat. He saves his cap, he's younger, why would I not take that move? This one, don't really benefit, I mean, the only winners here are, are us. Like, the Knicks will never make this that move. And he's an expiring contract as well. So, it just depends on what we can actually find. If we can't trade him, I need to make some kind of move. And, uh, I mean, right now our backup lineup is looking like J.J. Brunson, Matthews, Powell, and... Uh, this guy right here, I still want to, we just got to do something, man. Devin Harris, we don't really need him, and I don't really need Max Klebler as well. If we can move those guys for something, mm, semi Ojale. Now, I do know that he's a, he, he's a good part of the Celtics future, but they aren't even playing this, man. I don't think, well, for, for these two guys, they'll, they'll never do it, but just looking at this, I mean, he ain't even, he's not even touching the accord. He's played four minutes the entire season. All right, so can he, I, I know that he's working on his jump shot all season. It's still kind of broke. 
but he's definitely better than what we already got. But once again, that trade don't really make sense. The Lakers aren't giving that up unless I would take it. We could even get Monte Morris re realistically. Um, dang, like none of these honestly like make sense. See, a first round pick. Now I would do this trade if we were to give them like Wes Matthews, but then we'd have to take somebody else back, and I don't really want to do that. Um, all right, see, this don't help us because I mean, obviously this offseason I, I want to go after somebody like Demarcus Cousins. Because other than that, I mean, a first-round pick, they clear up cap room. They clear up a lot of cap room, and they get a better backup to team up with. It's going to be him, Austin Rivers, and Tomas Stadaransky, whatever. That could make a lot of sense as far as them doing it. For us doing it, we get a draft pick. This guy ain't going to play for us. <laughs> That's the thing. He's not really going to play for us. Um, But that would justify them giving up a first-round pick. And it would probably be this year's pick because... I mean, I don't think that they're they're willing to bet on the future, but I would I would like this. Yo, this this ain't that bad of a deal to be honest. Because like I said, Wes Matthews, even though this season he's not doing that he's not doing his best, but that's just because he's on he's on our team. But realistically, he could help them off the bench a lot. Um they clear up cap room with this and he's an expiring contract. They clear up cap room on Mahini. I know that they don't want to pay him. I don't even want to pay him, but I probably couldn't move this later on we get thomas bryant somebody who we can put in the g league and pretty much use him in the future so i mean this trade right here is not that bad the only thing is we sacrifice winning and uh, do we really want to do that all right let's just take a look at, at our cap room real quick all right so salary cap next season we would have 92 million to spend on players but we're going to bring back dj some more like 70 million and everybody else is pretty much locked up. So I don't think that that's really going to be a big problem. You know, we should be good. I can make that trade if I'm willing to, you know, sacrifice the whole winning thing. And like I said, man, we, we, we might as well we, we might as well stack up on them draft picks at this moment. So let's go back to that old trade. I will take in. I'll take Mahini's terrible contract. I'll give you guys West Matthews, but I don't want no 2021 pick. I want I want to pick this year. This year, and you guys got Dwight Howard. You guys got you guys got you guys got a nice little squad, and I really don't want even want to give up this second round pick to be honest. But I, I'd be willing, and I think this this honestly makes sense both ways, because realistically, West Matthews is he is going to change a lot to where I just need a backup small forward. So we could see what we could possibly do with free agency and all that involved. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and let's make this trade. We're gonna be trading Devin Harris. Maxi Klebler, a second round pick, and West Matthews in return for Thomas Bryant, Mahini, and a first round pick this year. And I actually like that move. All right, so next up, let's see what we can do. We can go after Patrick McCall. He's he's been chilling there. Um, let's see who else we can probably go after. Kill Patrick wouldn't be at. Tony Allen would be nice, but he can't even shoot. We can get Swaggy P to play our backup small forward role because. Joe Johnson's kind of washed, not not gonna lie. Uh, but Swaggy, but Swaggy can at least shoot, and he's a better defender. We can get Corey Brewer, no thank you. Troy Williams, no thank you. And the best player here, I mean, the best player here by far would be Nick Young. So I'm willing to sign him to a one year deal. At least with that move, we get a draft pick. Like that was the biggest thing that we were missing. That we were missing was a draft pick. All right, let's see what I can do here. All right, let me just chill out. All right, let me chill out. All right, let let's see what other moves can I possibly make. And you guys, let me know what you guys think about that move in the comment section below. I know some of you guys are probably gonna hate it, but I kind of like it. Let's see. I want to make sure to sign Bryant to a longer year contract. All right, who else can I possibly move though? We're, we're gonna be stuck with Mahini, but it's really whatever. We're gonna absorb that cap room because the only free agent that we could possibly even get this offseason is Boogie. And we, we can make a couple of offers for like D'Angelo Russell, but the Nets are gonna match it in the end. So let's uh, see. This guy right here can actually. He can't really defend. Can He can shoot. He has an A minus three as well. We can use him as well. Open shot three and 85. Okay. 
that's interesting if we decide to hang on to him. They're not giving us Norman Powell for, 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 for some rando. I think that's the only move that we're actually going to make for right now. We're going to go ahead and mess with this lineup real quick. I want to start Dirk because I, I I want somebody athletic off the bench that just doesn't get his kill. Uh, Dirk can play those minutes. You, you can play like 29-ish. Off the bench, obviously, I, I want Nick Young playing. Uh, that's why we got him. We also need a backup center. All right. Swaggy P can get like 12. I want Jalen Brunson in there. Just because I feel like he's the future of this team. We might as well use him. They're, they're not putting him in the G League in real life. So we might as well just go ahead and use him. And Luke is getting his minutes. Harrison Barnes, I want you to get some more minutes. I'm going to turn, turn yours down just a little bit. All right. Let's test out this team. It still says that we are rebuilding. But like I said, man, I really like that move. At least now we got something to work with. We got a draft pick. Something that we did not even have before. All right, so let's get straight into this game versus the Los Angeles Lakers. We're just going to go ahead and hop in, in the fourth quarter. I think that's the best way for us to do it. And, I mean, so far we're having some pretty good success. Jalen Brunson is going off. He's only missed one shot. He's perfect from the three-point line. For them, they're kind of struggling, but wow. That trade worked out better for us than, than I actually thought. We're about 30 freaking points. Barnes has 19. Dirk has 19. We ain't missing either. All right, Smith has 14. Don just has 14, 7, and 6. Nearly a triple-double. Dog. And maybe I should have made that trade earlier. All right, let's get into it, man. It's game time. Like I said, you guys, just let me know how you guys thought about that trade. I mean, so far, I mean, this is the Lakers. Lakers should be better than us. Oh, what? Is LeBron playing? LeBron's at point? Oh, my. Okay. Let's get Kuzma with something. Oh, watch out. Good. Oh, wow. Crap. Okay, we're gonna have to pass this rock but yeah as i was saying before just let me know what, what you guys think about that move uh so far it's working out now i know in the long run it probably won't but we needed a first round pick the wizards making that makes sense because that helps them like that is somebody that can help them immediately i believe that they are trying to win a championship with dirk uh, i mean with uh with uh dwight or we'll win as many games as possible with dwight so I, I think it would make sense for them to actually make that move. I, I think it makes sense. But yeah, guys, uh, I still want to know y'all's opinion. Some of you guys are saying just, just go ahead and tank. Some of you guys aren't really feeling it. And honestly, I understand it both ways. The reason I, I say that, hold on, crap, let me pass out. To the inside. Yeah, crap. Yeah. Wow. But anyways, guys, yeah, we got to discuss this whole tanking thing because a lot of you guys are saying try for the playoffs, but if we're saying this is a realistic series, we're not going to make it because the Western Conference is so stacked. And where the Magic finished last year, do you guys really think that adding Luka Doncic and Dirk isn't is gonna change us by like a span of 20 games. I don't think that's really enough to like change us. So I'm just doing what I thought was best for this team. We're not necessarily like just giving up, but we're being real with, with ourselves. Wes Matthews is cool. He can be someone who can help out a team on the edge of getting to like the conference finals, like the Washington Wizards. And we do absorb money uh, with Mahini's contract, money that they probably wanted to free up anyways. And we get a first round pick, which is probably going to be in, in the late teens to the 20s, mid 20s, somewhere around there. So I think that was a good deal. That's what I personally think. Come on. Let's guard up KCP. Good defense. Good defense. Come on. Good stuff, Barnes. Clamped up. Get that board. Dog. Come on now. Come on now. But yeah, Luke is playing great. Like everybody on this scene, for the most part, is playing really, really good. And I just want them to keep on with, with that same kind of action. We're gonna lose a lot of games, no matter what. So it's really whatever to me. Like no matter what, we're gonna lose a lot of games. But this year is pretty much a development year. I, I know Dirk's here. You guys want to compete and all. Get that blow. Okay, good. But like Dirk can mentor Luca. That's pretty much what I want his primary job to be. And the goal is, after he retires, which it should be this 
at the end of this season. But even if, if he doesn't, uh, next season, I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, make him the assistant coach. Because I think that that would be what's best for the team. I still, I still can't believe that we are killing the Lakers. I didn't mean to shoot that. I, I still can't believe that we are actually killing the Lakers like this. I, this is not good. Come send me a screen. I want that screen. Give me that. that shot off. That's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level. Come on. Defensively, you gotta <laughs> we're like playing with, with the B team. Good All right, what is Bonga supposed to do with the Rock? I know that he can't shoot. At least I think they're starting Josh Hart, which they should be doing in real life. Nope. I don't know. Okay. We're going to give him that. He should have pulled that, to be honest. But at the end of the day, we're going to be walking away with the dub. There's no reason to even show this. Like, we already know we got the W pretty easy. As far as the stats go, Barnes with 19, Dirk with 19, JJ with 18 and 8 off the bench. Jalen Brunson with 17 off the bench. He was on fire. He hit 5 of 5 from the freaking 3. We need to give him some more minutes. Luka Doncic with 15, 7, and 7. DSJ with 14 points. DJ with 10 and 14. So, I mean, and Nick Young, perfect in his Mav debut. I mean, Nick Young ain't got no job in real life. So, if Dallas is calling, he might be going there. He made all of his shots. 2 or 2 from the 3. Including the one that didn't even count. So, he was really 3 or 3 from the 3. And then for the Los Angeles Lakers, Kuzma, 18, 5. LeBron with 15 and 6. All that is cool. But, of course, in the end, we walked away with the W. Let me know what you guys think about that trade in the comment section below. We moved Wes Matthews. We got Mahini and a draft pick. Hey, man, that's probably as good as we were ever going to get if we actually decided to move him. But let me know what you guys want to see in the next episode, whether it's us simming to the All-Star Weekend or the end of the season. Let me know what you guys want to see or another trade. I don't know who else I really want to trade because, like I said, man, these are our list of untouchables. Where is it at? Luka, Dirk, and Dennis Smith Jr. Dwight Powell is kind of on that bubble because I do want to hang on to him for a little bit. He's super athletic. I don't really want to pay him 10, 10 mil a season. If we need Cat, we will discuss that when it's needed. But he is a pretty solid player. I like JJ. Uh, I'll probably bring him back. But next season, he probably won't be playing. Because, like I said, Brunson is a future of that point of that backup point guard spot. We, we, we want to hang on to him as, as much as possible. Um, we also got to worry about Costas. I want to sign him to a longer-term deal. Won't let me do that right now. And Thomas Bryant, I will put him... In the, Texas, in the Texas Legends if he wasn't a free agent. Because that's what it really depends on. But guys, just let me know what you guys thought about this episode. We made a trade. Our first trade, like, I don't I don't really make a lot of trades. But let me know what you guys think about that. Make sure you go ahead and like this video. And, of course, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Tomorrow, well, I will probably upload another episode of the Sixers, my league, or my do a rebuild. But other than that, I'll see you guys later on. Peace, y'all.